Hello everyone <coughs> and from this video onwards we are going to start a new series on our DSA topic which is linear search. Alright, so uh, before we start the linear search let me tell you what search is all about. So sometimes what is um, there is that we are given um, you know an array of items or objects or anything and there we have to basically find uh, the search. We have to find a specific element. We have to let's search for that specific element and that whole array. So if we talk about a real world example based on this thing. So you can say about the Google search. You type a topic. There would be the list of many things there on the Google Cloud Server. And when you type a specific topic, it uh, searches the link related to it. So searches are basically of two types. Uh, one is linear search and one is binary search. So in this video, we are going to learn what is a linear search. So uh, let me tell you what is a linear search. So linear search basically means that to sequentially traverse a given list or array and check if an element is present in the respective array or list. The idea is to start traversing the array and compare elements of the array one by one, starting from the first element with the given element until a match is found or end of the array solution. Okay, so let's first of all let's uh, learn about the algorithm and then we look at this example. So the algorithm states that uh, let's start from the left most element, all right, uh, of array and one by one compare x with each element of array. X is basically the number which you are trying to find. If x matches with an element written in index, if x doesn't match with any of the elements at end of the array, we each return by this one. Right? Now suppose if, 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 if x is 20, so what the algorithm states that we should start our search from here. Okay. We'll check if 10 is equal to 20. No, we move forward from here. Is 50 equal to 20? No. We move forward. Is 30 equal to 20? No. Is 60 equal to 20? No. Is 70 equal to 20? No. Is 20 equal to 20? Yes. So we will return the index of this element. Find it. Another thing is suppose x is log uh, 80. So you can see that we don't have any element. So first uh, we will start traversing. We will uh, traverse every element like this and we, uh, we won't be able to find 50, right? So in the end, we are just simply going to uh, like we at the end of the array. Hence, we won't be, be simply returning minus 1. That means no index contains 80, right? So this is what linear search is all about. Now, can you uh, think of the time complexity of the solution? The time complexity of the solution is big O of n. n is, you know, size of the list or array. You can see um, in this case that we have to travel the whole array to find the that to find that x was not present in the array. All right. Well, let's try and code this thing. Okay. So here I have made a function called insert. So we pass uh, array, its size, and the element which we have to search in. Okay. So let's have for int i is equal to zero i less than n, i plus plus. I will say if array i is equal to, equal to x, i will return i. That means I will return the index. And if I don't find uh, x in my array, my whole array, I will be, be returning i. Then in the end, i will simply return minus 1. All right. So that was the that was the whole code for the linear search part. So I guess that was it for linear search. All right. 
I hope you understood what is the search, like why we do search and like applications of it. We will also talk about the linear search. Now in the next video, we will uh, talk about uh, binary search. Okay. And if you might be wondering why would we need any binary search if we have linear search. So the sole reason of using binary search is it is more efficient, more faster. Because its time complexity is log n. We go of log n. Right. So we'll talk about binary search later. And if you have any doubt regarding linear search, you may ask it in the comment section. So thank you for watching and see you later.